In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. We celebrate this Mass for the happy repose of the soul of Bessie Habron of Grange. And we hear about the three young men who were thrown by King Nebuchadnezzar into the fiery furnace because they refused to obey the idols, to worship the idols of Babylon. They would not deny their God. And God protected them, sent his angel into the fiery furnace. It is just a statement, though, that um, uh, we have to get our priorities right. Our faith, our integrity within, first of all, everything else follows, at whatever cost. We call to mind our sins and we pray for greater courage and faith to pursue our faith, especially at this time when we look towards Holy Week and realise more and more deeply what it costs God, the God who loves us, to save us from the results of the sin that affects the whole world and ourselves. We call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enlighten, O God of compassion, the hearts of your children, sanctified by penance, and in your kindness, Grant those who stir to a sense of devotion a gracious hearing when they cry out to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Daniel. King Nebuchadnezzar said, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego is it true that you do not serve my gods and that you refuse to worship the gold statue I have erected? When you hear the sound of, sound of horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe or any other instrument, are you prepared to prostrate yourselves and worship the statue I have made? If you refuse to worship it, you must be thrown straight away into the burning fiery furnace and where is the God who could save you from my power? Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego replied to the king Nebuchadnezzar, Your question hardly requires an answer. If our God, the one we serve, is able to save us from the burning fiery furnace and from your power, O king, he will save us. And even if he does not, then you must know, O king, that we will not serve you your God, or worship the statue you have erected. These words infuriated King Nebuchadnezzar. His expression was very different now as he looked on Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He gave orders for the furnace to be made seven times hotter than usual and commanded certain stalwarts from his army to find Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and throw them into the burning fiery furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar sprang to his feet in amazement. He said to his advisers, did we not have the three, these three men thrown bound into the fire? They replied, certainly, O king. But he went on, I can see four men walking about freely in the heart of the fire without coming to any harm. And the fourth looks like 
a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar exclaimed, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He has sent his angel to rescue his servants, who, putting their trust in him, defied the order of the king and preferred to forfeit their bodies rather than work, serve or worship any god but their own. The Word of the Lord You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers. The response is, to you glory and praise for evermore. And it is repeated at every line. You are blessed, Lord God of our fathers, to you glory and praise for evermore. Bless your glorious holy name, to you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed in the temple of your glory, to you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed in the throne of your kingdom, to you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed to gaze into the depths, to you glory and praise for evermore. You are blessed in the firmament of heaven, to you glory and praise for evermore. The acclamation. <clears throat> praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> to the Jews who believed in him, Jesus said, If you're making my word your home, you will indeed be my disciples. You will learn the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered, We are descended from Abraham, and we've never been slaves of anyone. What do you mean? You will be made free. <clears throat> Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, everyone who commits sin is a slave. Now the slave's place in the house is not assured, but the son's place is assured. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are descended from Abraham, but in spite of that you want to kill me because nothing I say has penetrated into you. What I, for my part, speak of is what I have, sent, have, have seen with my father, but you, you put into action the lessons learnt from your father. They repeated, Our father is Abraham. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would do as Abraham did. As it is, you want to kill me, when I tell you the truth, as I have learnt it from God, that it is not what Abraham did. What you are doing is what your father does. We're not born of prostitution, they went on. We have one father, God. Jesus answered, If God were your father, you would love me, since I have come here from God. Yes, I have come from him. Not that I came because I chose, no, I was sent, and by him. The Gospel of the Lord. As the bitter opposition grows, our Lord makes it more and more clear who he is. He's not just a great prophet or a person, as it were, possessed by the Spirit of God sometime uh, during his life. No, no, much more than that. You see what he's saying. He said, <clears throat> I know all about Abraham, but what I'm testifying to is what I've seen already with the Eternal Father in heaven. The absolute truth. You are saying that you have Abraham who worship that father, but you haven't. You have an idea that's not true to Abraham, and so on. 
But in all of this, what is coming through is the fact that Jesus is revealing point by point that he is the final word of God, the, third per the second person of the Blessed Trinity with the Father and the Holy Spirit. He's telling us clearly who he is. We then have a choice, accept or reject. Let us accept. So we pray that <clears throat> more and more during this time of Lent, we will come nearer to God, more convinced, more deeply convinced that Jesus is God and man. He is the final word in our lives. Lord, hear us. We pray uh, for all of those <clears throat> who are very much puzzled and mixed up these days with the multitude of different opinions, whether they be atheistic beliefs or uh, beliefs about God of some sort. We pray that God will give them a clarity of heart and mind. And we pray especially for young people. Lord, hear us. <clears throat> and finally, we pray for all those in need. Yesterday, we prayed for, uh, on this first anniversary of the first lockdown here in this country, we prayed for all those involved, those helping, those affected, those who have died. And we continue that prayer. We ask protection for all those we know and love. Lord, hear us. Lord, we beg you, hear all our prayers. Help us to come close to you and know you as the Lord of life, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> By the mystery of this world. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, these sacrificial offerings which you have given to be offered to the honour of your name, and grant that they may become remedies for our healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks 
as in exaltation, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant Bessie, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingle of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I invite you to make a spiritual communion at this time of the Mass. The prayer of St. Alphonsus. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Attend, almighty God, to the prayers of your people, and as you endow them with confident hope in your compassion, let them feel, as ever, the effects of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow we celebrate on Thursday at the Church of Our Lady of Lords in Arnside, the broadcast mass, which is the Feast of the Annunciation. A lovely feast. Do bear in mind that uh, the bookings for uh, the Triduum, that is the next, uh, the, the, the main part of Holy Week, are being taken from today onwards. It may be important uh, to book early. Our churches, in some, uh, except, except for Christ the King, where the vigil will take place and the, uh, uh, the Passion Liturgy on Good Friday, are quite small. And finally, we continue with that devotion of the Stations of the Cross this Friday, three o'clock. Join in, please. The Lord be with you. Amen. Mighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.